Timmy Joe reviews anything. Reviewing computer parts on YouTube. That's Woo! You gotta be pumped on that, right? Well, computer parts! Woo! Oh, yeah. What is up, people? My name's Timmy Joe. Make videos about computers on the internet today for you. So, holy jeez, late to the party, aren't I? APU review 2400G from AMD, the Ryzen APU with embedded Vega graphics. Oh yeah, it's worth celebrating. I had to buy it myself, of course, because I'm just a lonely 30,000 subscriber demon uh, that doesn't get review samples yet. But that's neither here nor there, because it's fine. I'm going to put all this in a really freaking amazing, cool custom case that you'll want to subscribe for. Because, uh, yeah, it's going to be my new HTPC. My wife hates that uh, my current uh, main computer for the TV, I keep taking video cards out of it and stuff, just going to plop this little tiny motherboard, little gigabyte, pew, right in the, this new, this, this cool case that I'm developing myself that uh, no one's ever thought of before. So hit the subscribe button. And it's going to be my new HTPC. But what do we got going on here? Well, 4 gigahertz. No problem. It's basically a 1500X. At least mine. Uh, pretty good with the silicon lottery. I hate it when Ryzen only gets to 3.9. It's like, hurts my brain. This one, no problem. 4 gigahertz, 1.38 volts uh, set in the BIOS with LLC set to auto. And even better than that, the memory. Uh, this is a kit of Viper RAM. I don't know if you can see it there. It's, it's glowing. Uh, it's red. It's got LEDs. Uh, it is a 3000 megahertz kit. Pretty sure it's Samsung B-Die. I can't find any information, but every Ryzen motherboard I put in, it works really well. So I assume that it's, you know, just XMP and away you go. But the, uh, cr the cream on top of the icing uh, for this is that it uh, went even higher than that. I mean, I've never, R Ryzen's hard on memory and uh, I got this to overclock to 3200 megahertz no problem just works out of the box and uh it really helps with the speed of things we have a little fire strike run going there and uh, i'm just here to tell you all about my overclocking experience with this thing to show you the you know how you can get the most out of it so we've got ram going to 3200 4 gigahertz uh, on the cpu but how about the graphics well uh not so lucky in that department but uh, it's a base clock of 1250, uh, and then, uh, you know, it all depends on the speed of your RAM and how well it's going to work. But I see people overclocking uh, the, the GPU portion of this to 1600 megahertz. Mine seems to not want to go any further than like 1566, but as we'll see in a second, it will get a uh, pretty respectable fire strike score of 3541 not bad so um you know well while well, we're at it uh we'll just check out uh, a little cinebench and uh, i can tell you stock like just set the bios to defaults the uh cinebench score on this thing is 800 very good score that's core i7 30 or we'll say 4770 4790 k stock performance or or uh, you know, a little bit, you know, even overclocked. So the IPC on this ain't, ain't terrible, ain't bad, 800. But uh, it doesn't even get much better than that because the Turbo Boost technology on this, on this Ryzen is doing so well that uh, it's a base clock of 3.6, but it will all on its own stock go to 3.8 on all cores and even 3.9 on one which equals that 800 score where you might with uh, a Ryzen 1400 struggle to hit 800. It's no problem for this little thing. Now I'm hoping for like an 8, 850, 860 uh, Cinebench score. Boom, 842 uh, with uh, a fresh, you know, didn't just run um, Fire Strike, you know, programs all closed uh, at 4 gigahertz and the memory set to this. I've seen like even up towards of uh, 875. But, you know, uh, 70 points in Cinebench is like, what, maybe 10% improvement uh, overclocking all cores to 4 gigahertz. So kudos to them. Uh, now, we'll see here if I uh, switch over, what, to the... this. Ha! This is the stock Fire Strike score. If you just put some RAM in it, let's say it's, it's 2133 megahertz RAM 
or uh, you know you didn't set the XMP profile on your RAM, you know, and you just put a 2400G in a motherboard or this motherboard and run Firestrike without overclocking the GPU. That's the score you get, 2692. And like we just saw, um, 3568. I ran it a little bit before that. It was like 35, what, 30 something. So there is a dramatic improvement from 2692 to 3568 if you put all your ducks in a row with this thing and overclock the RAM, uh, you know, as high as it'll go. Let's say you get a really good kit of 3200 speed. It's going to really help out, and you overclock uh, from 1250 to about 1500 to 1600 megahertz on the GPU. Now, uh, yeah, but we'll, we'll go over all the parts I've got here just real quick, but what this is saying is, I don't even think you need that great a cooler for this. This, this isn't going to cut it, I don't think, if you want maximum performance. This is going to throttle. It's kind of silly that that's the cooler they included with it. But uh, you get yourself a Noctua low profile, or let's say you're just putting you know, the APU in a B350 ATX or MATX board in a regular system, and you get a nice tower cooler. A little bit of overclocking will go a long way to getting you you know, almost 1,000 more points in Firestrike, like 900 points. That's, that's worthwhile. And we'll go over how I got there uh, real quick near the end of the video. So uh, my, my system as follows. I've got the Raven Ridge APU, the 2400, the uh, four core, eight thread uh, Ryzen Beast. And then, uh, you know, there is a lower version that doesn't have hyper threading that has a little bit less CUDA or whatever, uh, Vega cores, Vega big stuff that makes GPUs happen. But uh, good budget option. This thing's closer to $200 where the you know the Ryzen 3 versions like a hundred bucks so you know not not bad at all but I think it's worth it if you're you know you're not planning on upgrading you know th th this is a good upgrade path if you wanna get into Ryzen because you could still plop a GPU in this and get some way awesome performance 1500x performance but have that you know integrated GPU but uh, you know if you're not planning on doing that I'd say go with the you know the Ryzen 5 version of this because it's gonna play video games that much better for sure so I've uh, you know I got the rise the uh, Ryzen 2400 G and here's the product page you know because I just got to show you that but uh, you know I got the gaming uh, gigabyte I don't like gigabyte budget boards but I will say that for this being an ITX board I was kind of worried about it. It was the only one available. I was trying to get the ASRock one because I've played with the Fatality ASRock version before and it was really good. This thing's awesome. It has the BIOS uh, that, that closely resembles in options my Aorus Gaming 7 uh, X370. So, uh, you know, I reviewed uh, a, a freaking uh, 370 board that was a budget one. It was like the cheapest X370 board you could buy. Uh, link here. And it was terrible. It was missing a whole bunch of BIOS options. But even though this thing doesn't even have really a good heat sink on the VRM, it seems to be just fine for, for doing this. So don't be afraid of this motherboard. Uh, or, you know, going B350 with this chipset. You're going to want to make sure that your motherboard you're getting actually has the outputs you want like a HDMI or display port you'll need display port if you have a free sync monitor which will help out greatly uh, you know in in this thing but uh, I also got like I said I had that Viper RAM uh, it's a Patriot Viper it has a LED strip across top of it that's red and I'm pretty sure it's like there, there's a white version and a red version pretty sure the red version is meant for Ryzen because it's got, you know, the it doesn't have Hynix chips or Micron chips. It has Samsung chips in it. So that's, that's nice. But uh, yeah, like I say, 2692 to 3568, it's worth overclocking. So let's jump over uh, to my BIOS settings and then uh, and I'll explain. It's very simple to overclock your CPU. Uh, of course, you want to make sure that, you know, your BIOS is up to date, of course. Uh, some people are saying you have to do this like bridge BIOS thing where you need to put you know just a standard Ryzen chip in the motherboard and then uh, upgrade the BIOS to some interim BIOS then put this in and then upgrade it. I, I, don't, I didn't have to do that. This had the like third revision of the BIOS that was on the website like F3 
and now it's like there's been 12 more since then and it booted up just fine with the apu uh you know and the integrated graphics even worked i didn't have to put a graphics card in this or anything just out of the box with an old bios i put the apu in there and it booted up fine but I think worst case scenario, if you know your motherboard manufacturer's BIOS didn't even think about integrated graphics before, you might have to put some dedicated GPU in your motherboard, then update the BIOS, and then use you know you have to find some some you know you might have to do a little bit of playing around, but you know it doesn't matter. So let's hit up those uh, you know all my settings for the overclock so you guys know what's going on, and then we'll come back and do a little follow up. Boo! Thank you.